like a date stuff with pine nuts.
Thanks for, for coming. Welcome, everybody. It's so great to see so many faces, old faces that we've known for so long, and, and lots of new faces. For those of you that don't know me, I'm, I'm Mark Michalis. I'm the um, chair of the CVCR board, and um, I also do a folk show acoustic harmony coming up in just, just a little bit this afternoon. But I want to welcome everybody. Thanks again for coming out. Um, I want to just spend a few minutes here and um, just talk a little bit about the very beginnings of um, CVCR. I'm not going to go back. I was going to talk about some of the dates, some of the history, but I do want to put a plug in before I forget for Predictably Unpredictable this morning. If you didn't catch it, catch it on the archives because it's such a great show with talking about the archives, the official archives of WGDR. And Chris, there he is, and, and Kate, thanks so much. Really great. And so, yeah. Check it out for sure. And also, if you missed the Magical Mystery Tour yesterday morning with Tony O and Greg and uh, Bon Hook, uh, Greg Hooker, Bon Kelly, um, Lou, and uh, yeah, so it was great. There's another one. Check it out on the archives. There's where you hear a lot of the history of WGDR itself. But I want to talk. So we're celebrating 51 years for WGDR, which is amazing in itself. And so. Thanks to people like you, that's why we're here. But I also want to talk about CDCR because we're also celebrating three years of independence for this community radio station. And I think that's a, that's a pretty, uh, pretty really great thing. And so basically, I want to thank a lot of the folks that kind of got us to this point where we are now. I mean, when you think about it, I've kind of been in the middle of it from the start, so it's kind of like amazes me. But um, I want to go back to 2020 when this all kind of started in the fall. And um, of course, Chris Gruen was a station director at that time, and Chris is here somewhere. And um, Chris kind of got started ahead of the game, which was really great. And he gathered together a few of us uh, community folks, Jude Sargent's here, Joe, Jude's one of the founding board members, um, Joseph Gaines, I saw Joseph someplace, and um, as well as Susanna Jones. And we formed CVCR from scratch. No money, no nothing, no knowledge, no, no understanding of how to run a radio station, and we got it going. So I want to recognize the founding board first off because they, they put in more hours than anybody can imagine. So thanks to those folks. Um, and a big shout out to Chris because part of the reason that we were able to get the license actually from Goddard, Chris was working that hard. And um, Bernard Ball, the president at the time, you know, we all owe a huge debt of gratitude to Bernard Bull for actually making the decision to gift us the station. So that's such a huge, huge gift. Um, so I want to thank all of those folks. Um, I want to thank David Furlan because David also stayed on and ran the station for about six months after things kind of closed down. We, we did this transition in the middle of COVID, folks. We didn't miss a day on the air. Things didn't, you know... Probably, if you weren't paying attention, you might not have even noticed that anything, had, a huge transition like this had happened. And that's because folks like David helped us stay on the air. And, and all the volunteers, really. All the folks that were around then. So many folks have stepped up to the plate and um, really put in the extra time and the effort. And um, that's what community radio is. And that's what we are here today. So um, that's really, I think, there's so many other people that I could thank. And I'm sure I'm missing all of the a lot of them. But I think, you know, I'm just going to kind of stop there and hand it over to Lou. But thanks for coming. Um, say hello to the board members. Say hello to Jude. We want to hear from you folks. We really want to know what you're thinking about the station. And um, again, just happy birthday to all of us. So. That's what they pay me the big bucks for. Did you see that? Yeah. Yeah. We don't have chords like that in the studios, so don't mind us. Um, that's a radio studio joke for us programmers. Um, hi, everybody. I'm Lou Mulvaney Stanek. Uh, really proud to be the station manager under community ownership, and so lovely to see so many of you. Um, I just really want to give it up to Mark. Uh, he is underselling himself as chair of the board. He does just about everything else. So thank you, Mark. 
we want to be very good party hosts because it's been three years since COVID and we haven't had all these people at the station. So in case you don't know, there are bathrooms located inside. There's signage to show you how to get there. Um, I also want to make sure that folks uh, know that we've got Tom Azarian doing the Cranky Show in about an hour inside. And uh, is there anything else? Oh, and oh, the so, so there's a silver Subaru. This is officially a party now. There's a silver Subaru with their lights flashing, right? Uh, what was that? A legacy. A legacy. It's down here in the parking lot. So there we go. Okay, great. Got that covered. Uh, and I also want to give a shout out to Johnny, who's on the air right now. We are a radio uh, station, and so Box Full of Blues is on the air right now, followed up by Mark at 4 o'clock. Uh, so uh, if you leave early, turn your radios on. Uh, so the next thing we want to do is we're here for programming. That is what radio stations are about. We'd love to have you all here in person, but we are notoriously uh, a bunch of people who like to talk to ourselves in studios by ourselves, sometimes with guests, sometimes with callers. Uh, but to do that has taken a lot of special work by a great group of people who is our programming committee. And so there's a legendary man named John Dillon who has agreed to chair this group of, of uh, fine folks who's been working diligently for the last year with us to fine tune our programming and make sure that it's community centered, that it's locally leaned, and that we have a good mix of syndicated programming to really make this place sound what, how we want it to intend, which is really a combination of informing, entertaining, holding space when things go wrong, and more importantly, holding space when things go right, like today. So I want to welcome up John for a few remarks about the programming committee and uh, to represent uh, what we're doing on the air. So the programming committee is me, Mark, Antonio and Mary, I don't know if she's here, and Erica Heilman. And um, basically, we started a couple years ago with this amazing opportunity, you know, a community radio station with kind of a, a, a chance to, to revamp it a little bit. And especially coming out of COVID, because so much was syndicated. Uh, if you remember, because people couldn't come in, people, you know, just because of all the, the health restrictions. So we kind of threw open the invitation, and I think in the beginning, as I, I, I had to report to the board at some point, like, what the heck are you doing with the schedule? And I said, we just sort of led with yes. We wanted to, to expand the universe of potential people on the air and all of their individual tastes and perspectives and offerings that they could bring to to our audience and i think that's what happened um we we got a lot of new people on the air i think it's what is it 45 now uh, 55 excuse me um and we we were able to um accommodate different people's needs you know it's it's they're volunteers so could they could they we tried to really work around when people could do an hour two hours weekday weeknight um, opportunities to record at home and then by being local and reducing the amount of tape stuff we played um, we were able to respond in the moment you remember um, the, fl the horrible flooding last year we had live programming you know just sort of as co a community resource the eclipse stuff just a couple of months ago was amazing a couple of months ago last month um, and so I think that's been, it. and it's also allowed us to do special programming like uh, the New Orleans jazz stuff that we've had recently. So, and we're continuing to evolve. There's the discussions about um, how much talk versus music, what times a day are best for both, um, looking at the schedule ahead, you know, Democracy Now! We repeat. We want to do something with that slot, but we want much more local news and affairs you know, talk as well as, as music. Um, and eventually, I'm, you know, shooting for the, the moon here, and we'd love to have, go, go back to more live music. There are some acts now that are on our air. Um, so I think that's, that's it in a nutshell. And I think along the way, there was this, you know, we're community radio, and there was a community that got built here among the 55, among the veterans, between the veterans. Um, that, that developed uh, almost, um, I don't know what the word is, you put everybody in this uh, petri dish, dish of music and culture and perspectives and different... A collage. 
A collage. There you go. Needed a wordsmith. Um, and 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 this is what we ended up with. And Lou, you can tell us some of the stories. You you. I think there's one I know of. Uh, Turkey Joe and Dave. They had back-to-back -back shows, and they were. I think. I don't know who was coaching or who was mentoring, but there was something going on there with a lot of cross-pollination with music. And that's what it's all about. And I think if, if I want to leave with anything, it's that we're still looking, you know, we're still adjusting. And, and if anybody out there, I, I'm, I'm not volunteering myself, but we need, you know, some, some also more public affairs programming in our mix, I think. And, uh, which would be awesome to, to, to do more of at some point. So that's it in a nutshell of how, how we've developed it over the last couple of years. And thanks, Lou. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you, John. Uh, indeed, I, I think there really is, there, in community radio, there's the community that we broadcast to, new listeners, and then there's the community in the station. And I think if you were to speak to any of the folks who've been part of the station for a long time or the new folks, there is a collective sense of pride and joy and uh, teamwork that is just palatable. And it just feels really good to be part of WGDR right now. And I know that's not always been the case. And we are determined under community radio, uh, community ownership, should I say, to make that the case every single day, to be proud of what we're doing, to do it together, and to really make sure that this is a forward-facing organization and not one that is looking backward or trying to kind of uh, stay in the weeds. That we really want to make sure that we are being smart and strategic about what we're doing. Anybody read the news lately? Why we might want to be strategic about the future? We don't talk about that today. It's a party day. Um, okay, so I want to, in the grasser's attitude, do a little bit of uh, gratitude attitude, right? Yeah? The grasser's, everybody. Can we give them a nice round of applause for the wonderful music today? I also want to apologize for accidentally naming the band, uh, so I apologize. So they're, they're, they're the grassers on, on the air, and they have a di couple different band names now, apparently. Uh, I want to thank the entire CBCR board for all of your help getting today together and for all of the work that you're doing. They deserve a hearty round of applause, y'all. The board is a thankless work in any nonprofit. I specifically want to shout out Bill, Johnny, and Tony for painting the studio just in the last week. That is not easy. There's a lot of gear in there. There's not one extra paint drop on anything. That was impressive. Okay. Speaking of the studio, if you haven't seen it, if you're a past programmer, it took us 50 years, but there is an opening window in the studio now. I think we can stop now and just claim victory uh, because that was put in by Damien and Fella, his, his uh, son. Damien used to host Hoi Polloi, and he's a, a very talented carpenter, and there's a wonderful window in there now. So I just want to give that, that kind of facility crew a, hand, a nice hearty round of applause, please. I want to shout out camera people. So, you know, radio's obviously uh, the higher art here, but we've got cameras in the studio. From Orca Media, thank you, Orca, for recording today. Thank you to James Buck, who's taking photos today. Uh, I also want to thank uh, the crew that was doing things like making these banners here um, and doing all the signage. There's a lot of people to thank, so I'm just going to collectively thank everybody who was part of making today happen. It really did take an army of 25 people, so thank you everybody for that. And uh, obviously, this is a 51st birthday party, and at birthday parties, sometimes you bring gifts. Sometimes you ask for gifts if you are of a certain age. And so I just want to give people an update on the air. We've been looking to find 51 donors to get $51. And as of 10 minutes ago, <laughs> we're at 14 donors giving $51 for a total of just over $1,500. And that's from our matching gift that's coming from the CBCR board today. So again, I want to thank the board. I can only see you, Mark. Sorry, there's, the <laughs> there's more board here. Uh, so thank you that, to them for matching I also want to thank the, um, the community sponsors who are matching the gifts uh, for the rest of the weekend. Onion River Campground, Northfield Savings Bank, and the Washington Electric Co-op. Please give them a nice round of applause. They're giving us actual money. And again, they're matching every single dollar that comes in this weekend. So our goal is to get 51 total donors to give $51 each for the 51st party, which is the 51st year that we're entering here. So if you have the means today, if you have that love in your WGDR hearts, I can see it all from right here. <laughs> I am hoping that today we can raise a little bit of money from this party to throw into our donation bins, which are going to be 
scattered about, or you can hand it to any board member, you can hand it to me as well. Uh, and we think that from today and tomorrow, we can definitely hit that goal. And if we do that, all of that matching gifts will have us north of $5,000 by the end of just one weekend. Can you imagine that? I mean, read the history of WGDR, raising $5,000 in three days. Yeah. It's historical, it's historical, I can tell you that. You so that uh, again, on, my, on behalf of everybody here at the station, I don't want to take up too much more mic time because we've got great music to get back to. Thank you all very much for coming out. I am so, so excited to see this many people coming out on a Saturday afternoon to the station. There'll be more coming through. We've got a little bit of history to share in about 40 minutes or so. And again, Mark's gonna be on the air pretty soon too. Um, but thank you all very, very much. And feel free to ask any of us any questions. Uh, most of us have our name tags on and can tell you who we are related to the station. Uh, but without further ado, I wanna welcome back the Grassers <laughs> to the stage. <laughs> and as we're getting set up, in case you don't know, one of our best shows, I mean, every show is one of our best shows, but one of the best shows is Friday nights. It's the Barn Dance Bluegrass, and they're now three hours long, starting at six o'clock. So set your watches for that. I'm gonna toss it back to you guys. Thank Thanks you so very much.
y'all. I'm just making a quick announcement. We've got the Cranky Show with Banjo Tom about to start in the space right outside the atrium inside. So if you make your way over, one of a kind, you don't want to miss it, Cranky Show with Banjo Tom. After a few more songs, we'll make an announcement. We're going to get a big group photo over by the banner. So stay tuned and make yourself known for that, marking your presence. Thanks, y'all.
Hello, hello, hello.
Check, check, there we go, all right. So, quick interruption announcement for folks who want to take part for a 51st birthday photo of the listeners, the programmers, anybody who wants to be part of this photo that we'll use a lot. We're gonna gather in front of this great banner that was made by Eric, the past programmer. We're just gonna make a little crowd uh, photo over here with our photographer. So, if folks could move, um, kind of mosey over this way if you want to be in the photo. Bring your friends, anybody who's not able to hear this, bring them on over. We're gonna make a nice little photo over here of a collection of folks, uh, and then we'll get back to the music over here. So come on over.
every year they get a present. Oh. <laughs> Thomas, you got to meet this picture. Me Thomas, come on. Come on, Thomas. Come on. I've got a chair right down there for you. From somebody out front.
Thank <laughs> you. 